What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we're going to be showcasing an Iron Jugglers team that also features Palafin and my boy Pelipper. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. But like I mentioned, Iron Jugulus today haven't used this Pokemon too much on the rank ladder, so I want to showcase it a little bit more. Cool flying and dark type, and I really like its design. Like I said, let's showcase a little bit more and try to grab ourselves at least a winning record for today's video. But Fluttermane is going to be our first Pokemon we're going to uh, talk about in today's team preview with Protosynthesis and the choice specs as its item. Moonblast, Dazzling Gleam, Shadow Ball, and Thunder for an amazing moveset for a choice specs Fluttermane. I feel like this Pokemon is going to be a beast, be a beast and uh, be able to do some crazy damage on today's video. Iron Jug is going to be our second Pokemon. It's got Cork Drive and it is holding the booster energy as its item. It's got Hurricane for stab damage, and it's going to be able to hit 100% of the time in the rain with Pelipper. Then it has Snarl for special attack drop, Flash Cannon for coverage, and Protect for its final move. Third Pokemon is going to be one of my favorite Gen 9 Pokemon. It is going to be Palafin over here. Zero to Hero adds its ability, Mystic Water adds its item to make its water damage do a little bit more. And it's got Wave Crash, Jet Punch for first turn priority, Encore, and Protect. My boy Paloops is going to be our fourth Pokemon. Love this Pokemon. Top tier range setter within, within the competitive scene with Drizzle and the Focus Dash as item. Hurricane, Hydra Pump, Y Guard, and Tailwind for Speed Control. Probably the best move set for any Pelipper. Magnezone is on this team. Going to be able to rock out with the Pelipper as well because it has Thunder. Thunder can hit 100% of the time in the rain. But this one has Analytic, the Assault Best as item. Thunder, like we already mentioned, Bolt Switch for pivoting and for stab damage. And then Flash Cannon and Body Press for its other two moves. Final Pokemon on today's team is going to be our support Pokemon, the little mushroom Amoongus over here. Regenerator, Rocky Helmet as item, Spore, Palm Puff, Rage Powder, and Protect, nothing you guys haven't seen before. You guys want to rent this code for yourself? Rent the code is at the top right hand corner. Well, let's get after it. Let's hop on that right double ladder. Let's grab some wins with this Iron Jugulus and Palafin Rain team. First match coming at you guys, and we're going up against a tough one here. Hard Trick Room team, I think this is pretty close to the team that I showcased on the rank ladder and did really well with. They got Ndidi, Armrouge, King Gambit, Twerkle, then Hatterene, and last but not least, Annihilate. Like I said, going to be very tough. We definitely are going to want Pelipper out here. Pelipper is going to be wonderful for taking weather control from the Twerkle and for setting up some nice damage for some first and priority moves on our Palafin. So, I might want to lead the Palafin. I kind of like the Palafin for a nice little lead. And then I also want to lead... Uh, hmm, who else do I want to lead here? Who else do I want to lead? Because I know Amoongus is going to be pretty solid for us here as well. I definitely like Amoongus here. I'm going to go Palafin, and I'm going to lead... Do I lead you? Do I lead you? We need another big attacker, so do we go choice spec Pokemon here? I think we go... I think we go in with you. I like you a lot. I'm going to go Fluttermane, I'm going to go Palafin, Pelipper, and Amoongus. Seems like the play, right? It's got to be the play. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's look to grab ourselves a win here in match number one. But this one is going to be tough. Hard start for us. In match number one, hard trick room teams are always hard to play up against, especially with the team that we have. I feel like there's not too many ways we can actually counter up onto trick room. So we're going to have to try to figure this one out. Pelipper might have been a solid lead, but I really needed it for weather control. So I can block expanded forces and all that, and that's exactly who they're going to lead. It's going to be Ndidi and Armour. So somebody is going to want to... Somebody is going to want to do the do the whole uh, trick room thing. So one of them is going to set up trick room. other one might protect. One might go for follow me. One might set up trick room. But from here, I have to choice spec into a move, and I might choice into... Hmm. I could jet punch here. Actually, I can't. I got the terrain out here. It's just easy to hard swap. So I'm going to hard swap into a Moogus turn one. Actually, no, I'm not. I cannot hard swap into a Moogus, because then I die. Then I die. So Pelper's going to have to be a hard swap Pokemon. And I could rip into a Shadow Ball, but if you go for a... If you go for... Hmm. I'm just going to choice to do a If you do go for a follow me, then Shadow Ball won't hit. This one's going to be tough. This one is going to be tough. So we're going to hard swap to Palafin. We shall save it for later. God dang, indeed, the armors is always a problem. And we're going to bring out the Paloops. So Paloops is out and about. I can always wide guard next turn. We have rain right now. And he's just going to witch all armors into what? Twerkle? Is it Twerks? The Gambo. King Gambo's coming out here. So the Gambo comes out here. That's fine by me. Moonblast is going to fly over onto you. And chip up some nice damage. We know Trick Room's coming out from Indeedee. Yes, we know that already. And he can't Sucker Punch me, which is really good. He simply cannot Sucker Punch me. Uh, What do I do from here? Definitely want to Hydro Pump this slot down. 
Definitely want to Hydro Pump that slot down. And I could Terrasilize. I could definitely Terrasilize. Or I can hard swap into a Moongus here and just start putting Pokemon to sleep. Which I think is my best bet right now. Correct? Seems like my best bet. And just resetting our choice specs. Yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. So we're going to swap through our Moongus here. I don't have to watch out for the Psychic Moons. I know I have to watch out for them. But we might just end up Terrasilizing. We'll see. We have a Hydro Pump coming in onto the uh, the Gambo slot, which I really like. And Helping Hand's going to also fly right here. So Helping Hand comes out here. That's fine. Are you still going after my Amoongus? Kowtow Cleave into what slot? The Pelipper, which is fine. We survived. We had Focus Ash regardless. And now Hydro Pump comes out here and chips up some mean damage. So from here, uh, what do I want to do? What do I want to do here? Definitely want to go for another Hydro Pump, but I'm just going to put somebody to sleep. Somebody's going to sleep here. I could actually just Rage Powder this turn. Keep Pelipper alive. Right? No double hitting moves. I could Terrasilize and Rage Powder. Which I think is my play. Keep Pelipper alive. Hope to land the other... Yeah, hope to land another Hydro Pump. Waste out another turn and then Spore next turn. I like that a lot. I like that a lot. Because I'm not dealing with the Psychics just flying into me and dealing some big time damage. So I'm cool with that. And we're trying to waste out this terrain as well. Because once we waste out the terrain, we can actually start uh, jet punching with our Palafin. That can do some nice damage all around. I do like that. But again, wasting out Trick Room is the name of the game right now. We're just going to Terrasilize here. And they're also going to Terrasilize. Who are you tearing here? That's the real question. Going to be Indeedy into what? Into what? Into Grass. So Rage Powder does not affect it. Hopefully you're still going after my Amoongus. That would be great. That would be lovely, but that would be an amazing turn by them. So I can't put Indeed to sleep anyway. Now with that, and Kalta Cleave's gonna fly here. We soak pretty well. Rocky Helmet's gonna chip up, and Indeed, go after Amoongus. Now you're just gonna glean. Smart play by our opponent. Real smart play by our opponent. So from here, I can put King Gambit to sleep. That might have to be my play, and we can kind of go from there. But at this point, I can bring back out Buttermane. Yeah, let's bring back out Fluttermane here. Hmm. Bring back out Fluttermane? Oh, this one's tough. I wish I could check how many turns were left in like Trick Room and all that. But I'm actually just going to bring you out here right now. I'm just going to bring you out here. I'm going to put that Pokemon to sleep, right? I got to see how many turns are left in things. Two turns left in Trick Room. I'm going to save my Protect. Uh, Actually, or do I Protect here? Can't jet punch. This is tough news. This is a tough place. It's just a real tough place. Uh let's see how much damage Wave Crash does into this. And I'ma just put you to sleep. I'ma just put the gambit to sleep. We'll we'll, we'll take out the gambit later. We end up going for the helping hand here. Amoongus should go first. Which is big time. And we end up sporing him. He has safety goggles. That's that's just lovely, isn't it? That's a lovely scene. That's real lovely, isn't it? That he has the goggles. And where are you? We still care with that Indeedy. Please don't die to recoil damage. I need you for another turn. I need you for another turn. I do need you. Don't die to recoil. Okay, cool. You survived. Okay, so I can protect you. And from here, I'm just going to spore the next Pokemon, right? I feel like I just have to spore this next Pokemon. Or I could Rage Powder, but it's going to be Torkoal. So the Torques come out here. We have to... Ooh, that thing's actually slower than me. Definitely got to protect you. And I'm just going to protect you. I'm just going to waste out the last turn in Trick Room. And then we'll go from there. Wow. Torkoal action here. God dang, Torkoal. <laughs> Torkoal doing me dirty. I'm just going to double protect. Waste out the Trick Room. This is a solid match right here. If I get rid of Gambit, we definitely have a shot. Because I know it's Armor Rouge. Um, hmm. But the Sunlight doing me so dirty. Eruption's going to come out here. We're going to get the blocks. And we'll go from there. Trick Room's gone. I mean, he gets Sucker Punch now, but we're just going to Jet Punch, because Jet Punch can outspeed, and then we're going to support the Torkoal. And I'm hoping Jet Punch can KO, right? I understand that Gambit is in the sunlight. But yeah, that's got to be our play. So all this is gone now. We wasted out all that. Jet Punch is coming out from us. We're hoping that can KO, that we need a big-time KO, and then we can support the Torkoal and kind of deal with that after this. 
This is such a good battle. We know Arm Rouge is the final Pokemon. We know Arm Rouge is the final Pokemon, but we, we waste out Trick and Turns really, really well here. Jet Punch comes out probably before the Sucker Punch, and we don't KO. And he goes for a Sucker Punch into that slot. Okay, so we can still deal with this. This is pretty good for us. Sports can come out here. Okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Cool, cool, cool. Dope, dope. Awesome, awesome, dope. Uh, huh. Do I heal up the Palafin with Palm Puff? Options, options, options. Definitely want to jet punch you. We're gonna jet punch you, and I'm gonna I'm gonna heal him up. I'm gonna heal up my boy. I'm healing up the Palafin while we can. Get back a little bit of HP for him. And we can start ripping it a little bit. Yeah, we got jet punch this thing. 100%. Yep, jet punch coming out here. We KO the King Gambo. Big time. Torko should still be asleep this turn. It really should be. I'm gonna be upset if it's not. And we're gonna get some HP back onto the Palafin. Not bad turn, not bad turn. Hopefully, Torko's still asleep here. Kind of need ear. Cool. Torkoal's still fast asleep. He has Arm Rouge here. Uh, not a Rage Powder, right? This is terrible. I wish I had my Pelipper to hard swap it, though. But out comes Arm Rouge. Uh, who attack here? Who do we attack? It's a real question. Probably Arm Rouge, right? And do I just Rage Powder again, or do I Palm Puff get some more HP back? I think I just palm puff. I think the HP is going to be wonderful. Because he might just expand in force. I don't know what he's going to do here. Armourish might even protect here, and he might try to waste out some turns. The wave crash is going to come out here. Chip up some nice damage right there. And please do not take out my Palafin. Please, no Armourish. Leave me alone. Goes for an expanded force. Go into Amoogus. No, you're going to take out me. Can this palm puff, like, slide over and hit somebody else? <laughs> That'd be wonderful. And Torkoal, you got to stay asleep here, buddy. Palm Puff comes out here. Dude, this is such a good match. Torkoal's still asleep. Oh my lord. What do I do here? What do I do here? I think I have to choice into a Gleam, right? Do I choice into a Gleam here? I don't know. I do not know. It's gotta be Shadow Ball. This battle's way too good. <laughs> this battle's way too good. I got Protosynthesis, so my speed's heightened. Um, Shadow Ball, Gleam. We gotta go Shadow Ball. Do we think Armourish might even protect here? This is atrocious. Because an Eruption can KO. We have to go after Torkoal. I'm just going to Rage Power the shot. We have to go after Torkoal here. We have to chip up some sort of damage onto Torkoal. Because if he goes for Eruption, that's just going to dump on me. So I'm just going to Rage Power the shot here. I'm going to Rage Power the Armourish shot. Shadow Ball is going to go first here. How much damage are we doing to this Torkoal? Hopefully it can be a three turn sleep. That's some big time damage. Torkoal does wake up here. And Torkoal goes for the eruption. That's exactly why we had to we had to tackle down that Torkoal. So we're able to soak. Trick Room's gonna come out here. That is atrociously bad for us. And Oh no. <laughs> Sunlight's gone. That's big. That's big time for us. Post synthesis is gone. Uh Shadow Ball's gonna fly onto you. We're gonna finish you off. And I'm gonna go for the spore. If I can land a spore onto you, that could be nice. That could be nice. This is tough, man. This is such a good battle. Such a good battle. Too good of a battle. Maybe we should have Rage Powder shot. We probably should have Rage Powder shot. Flamethrower can come out here. Can we eat? Oh, wow. That's a little bit too much damage. Support's can come out here. We put you to sleep. Should have put the Arm Rouge. Ooh. Arm Rouge goes for Armor Counter. You take it out my Flutter Main. Leave my Flutter Main alone. Should have rage powdered. I should have rage powdered 100 percent So his defense is down. There's somewhat of a shot here. Can I somehow win this battle? I don't think I can. I mean your defense is down, but <laughs> this is not looking good. Does that bring your special defense down as well? It does. Holland Puff, can you maybe pick up a KO? We kind of need it here. Torkoal's gonna be slumped. We need Torkoal to sleep three turns. And Pile Puff's coming out here. Oh, no. Come on with that. Come on with that. We should have definitely Rage Powder last turn, but I wish that would have KO'd right there. I wish that would have KO'd, but what a first battle. Solid all around. We waste out all the trick and turns, but with a Rage Powder there, we probably would have had a hot chance of winning this battle, but bad play by me at the end. Played great all around. Came down to one play, and we ended up losing.
Second match coming at you guys. I really wish you would have won that first battle considering it came down to the wire and we played really good in it but did not make a good last turn and ended up losing it. But going up against a Sandstorm team, so definitely got to bring in Pelper. They got Titar, the Lycanroc, Garchomp, three Pokemon that thrive under the Sandstorm. Then they also got Golden Go, Dragonite, and Garlemacle. So Pelper is going to be our buddy. We definitely want to bring in Pelper here somewhere and get rocking with that. Uh, do I bring in... Palfin? I feel like Palfin gets some work done. I like Palfin here. I'm going to lead Palfin. I am going to also lead Fluttermane. I think Fluttermane could be solid. Especially with the choice specs. Or I can go Jugs as turn one. Definitely try to set up a Tailwind. Don't really need it though. Don't really need it for turn one. I think Fluttermane's got to be a turn one. So I'm going to go Fluttermane. I'm going to go Palfin. I'm going to bring Pelipper in the back end and then bring in the Iron Jugs. That's our team. We're locking it in. We're locking it down. Let's look to grab ourselves a win here. In match number two, but Iron Jug should be pretty solid here. I mean, it has a has the uh, Dark type to kind of take care of the Golden Go. We have nice little Terra on him as well. I do have. I think it's a Steel Terra. Is it Steel? It might be Steel. But we also rock out fine with him because we can uh, use Hurricane with it, especially with Pelper on the field. But I'm liking this. I am definitely liking this. But I need to I need to make sure I can get Palfin out here and swap him into a Zero form as soon as possible. And then maybe if they lead Titar, I was just hard swap into uh, Pelper with that one. And we could just kind of rock out with that. But uh, I'm definitely scared of uh, the rock moves coming in. The rock moves can rip into me, no problem. And that can, that can definitely be an issue. But we'll see who they want to end up leading. Like a rock and golden go. So he kind of does the same thing as me. And I could swap into Pelper this turn. I definitely could. And I might. I might. Or I can just straight up jet punch you. And just gleam across the board. Which I really I like that. I mean, I could tear into lightning as well. Or I could just shadow ball. But Shadow, mm, are you going to Terra? That's a real problem. That's going to be a real problem. I think I'm just Terra into Electric here and drop a Gleam. Ah, dude, I don't know. Or I could just Terra into Electric, drop a Shadow Ball, and finish you off. Because he might swap into... He might swap here. He's not going to swap. Okay, I like that. I do not think Lycanroc has protect which is huge which would be huge for us but i am choosing into this lovely little electric type just so the make it rain wouldn't kill us jet punch is going to fly chip up some nice damage and we are doubling down into the lycanroc right now just to get rid of it i'm not dealing with that pokemon in sandstorm so we get rid of you he's gonna do some crazy damage which i don't like and i'll just shadow ball him next turn but make it rain is obviously coming right yeah there it is make it rain flying through here chipping up some damage but we're able to soak Nice little tower from us, and we drop your special attack. So I'm hoping he brings out Titar here, and then I just hard swap into Pelper and pretty much just set up, set us up for victory. But we'll see what he wants to do here. We shall see, because I do have the Thunder Tower. That does scare him. And there's a Titar. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Let's take the weather now, and we can get our Palfin into Hero for it. Lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Right into the Pelper, and then from here... I feel like Shadow Ball's got to be the play. Because he might even Terrasilize Titar. Give me the weather. So, oh my god. What a turn from us. Starting off strong with the Jet Punches turn one onto the Lycanroc. Getting rid of that Pokemon who was so strong in the Sandstorm was just huge. It was huge. Well, we changed weather in our favor. Shadow Ball is going to absolutely dump on this Pokemon right here. We'll say see you later, Golden Go. Get on out of here. And this match is looking, looking pretty light, right? It's looking light. It's looking light. Titar's going to go for a Rock Slide. That's fine. It's going to deal some damage, but we're still sitting in the drop sheet. We're still sitting in the drop sheet. I could wide guard the shot next turn, too. I have options. Garchomp might be the last Pokemon, and it is. And, yo, watch this. This is going to be the best wide guard you guys have ever seen. Because he's going to Terrasilize a T-Tart into flying, pop an EQ, and pop a Rock Slide at the same time. And I'm going to double block both of them and just start pretty much wrapping this match up, right? It's, 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 it seems like the best wide guard of the year, right? It seems like the best wide guard of the year, but I definitely want to get out Iron Jugs in this battle. I definitely do. This is going to be the best wide guard of the year. Watch this. Look, I told you, he's going to Terra in the flying, and he's going to EQ and Rock Slide. And once I wide guard, he's going to turn off his console. No problem. He's going to turn off his console. Once I wide guard, we're going to get a disconnection. It's going to be hilarious. Check it. That's how easy this game is sometimes. No guard shot protects. Never mind, I lied. <laughs> I lied, but hopefully he's still going for another Rock Slide. Hopefully we still going for a rock side because we just garden up. Shadow Ball gets blocked. That was that was a good turn by him. I might want to swap her. What do I mean? 
And there's a rock side. Okay, cool. Man, dude. One one turn off from, from getting that. Getting that cooking for us. Almost had that. Yeah, I can wide guard again. I mean, it's probably our play. Yeah, I'm going to wide guard again. And then I can just shadow ball again. That's my play. That is my play. I want to get an iron jug soon because I can just start freely hurricaning. It's pretty solid for us. But we'll see what our opponent wants to do. We shall see. I want. I need. I need to get my my back end Pokemon out here in the rain. They really thrive with the rain. You have my Mystic Water, uh, Palfin, and then my Hurricane Iron Jugs. Again, we need at least two turns of rain for these guys to really finish up this battle. But we're looking good. We're looking good. I wish our opponent would have EQ'd there. That would have been huge. But we're gonna Y guard again J just to do it. They're probably gonna go maybe go for a move or two. See how someone plays out here, and we're gonna rip with the Shadow Ball here. The Shadow Ball, crazy big damage. We love that. A Jet Punch can finish that off. And he ends up just going for the Iron Head, taking this out. And that's totally fine. Maybe we'll go for another Rock Slide. We would love that. We would love another Rock Slide. <laughs> we would love another Rock Slide. So from here, he just ends up going for Terror Blast. That's totally fine. I don't mind it. Pelper might have went last, so that Wide Guard might have been our best option. But again, we have our two Pokemon in the back end coming out here. Gonna rip up some damage. And I bring out the Jugs and the Palfin. So I can go for a Jet Punch. He might protect the Garchomp. We got to watch out for that. He might protect the Garchomp, which is very, very scary. <clears throat> Garchomp protect is very scary. But I got zero to here. I might just protect my Palfin here. I got Booster Energy as well. Quirk Drive popping. My Special Attack's heightened. So I got my Special Attack heightened. Uh, let's see how many turns left in rain. Two. Like I said, we need two, and that was big. So Hurricane's going to be our friend here. Uh, I might just Hurricane you and then just protect the... I think I'm just going to protect you. Because I don't want him protecting Garchomp and taking out my Palafin. I really do think that might be an option for him. Yeah. Yep. Good read from us. Now I can just jet punch it and take it out. Big time plays from us. Big time plays from us. We love that. We love that read. Give me the ducks, too. The ducks! Let's go. Love me some ducks. Hit himself in confusion. Waste of turn. Waste of turn. But we got this one unlock after that play right there. And he ends up going for the rock slide. That is fine. And that's going to do some nice damage over onto you. But you should be able to soak. Yeah. Cool. Dope. Awesome. Now I just go into a protect on you. Actually, do I protect on you? I think we just hurricane you again. Let me just go for the jet punch. Big time plays from us. Big time protects. That protect was huge. Like I said, I only need two turns in the rain. I only need two. We got this dude ducked up right now. We're chipping up some more damage with this hurricane. Iron Jug's clutching up big time. And I don't think Rockside KOs my Palafin, right? It shouldn't KO my Palafin. And who's dodging? Someone's dodging. Who dodged that? Hopefully it's the Jugs. Or both you guys dodge it. It was over anyway. I know he wasn't KOing my uh, Palafin with that shot. And then from here, I can just go into Flash Cannon and just Jet Punch on top of that. It's game, set, match. Jet Punch with KO, and the battle was canceled. Let's get it, ladies and gentlemen. Match number two goes to your boy. We're sitting one and one Let's go grab ourselves a winning record. Third and final match coming at you guys. Let's get it. Let's grab ourselves a winning record. We're going up against Storm Dream Gaston. Got to watch out for that, considering my Palafin and my Pelipper can do nothing up against that. So I might not even bring him. I might just bring Pelipper on its own. Might just bring Pelper on soon. They also have the Brute Bonnet. They have the Fluttermane. They have the, uh, ooh, Corviknight. That's a scary Pokemon. And then War Moon and Arcanine. So Pelper is going to come in on its own. I think I'm going to lead him. I can Tailwind. I can Hurricane. I think that's pretty solid for us. So I definitely want to go in them. I kind of want to bring in you too. And I might end up leading you. This little Thunder action coming out here. I like it. Your speed's kind of low, but your special attack's high. You got the Assault Vest. I'm digging it. I'm definitely digging it. So I'm going to go into Magnezone Pelper here. Bring the Choice Specs Fluttermane and then Iron Jugs. Got to bring in the Iron Jugs. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. It's winning record time. It is winning record time. First match we played really, really well. Second match we played really well, but ended up grabbing ourselves a win. And then this third match. We're here for it. We're down for it. Let's do it. Let's grab ourselves the lovely winning record. But who are they going to lead? Corvo and Blutz. Okay. Corvo and Floods. I can freely thunder into that slot. I am a little scared of the Fluttermane. I am, I'm just a tad bit scared. But I feel like Tailwind is going to be our friend. So I'm going to set up a Tailwind turn one. 
and I could, I could go after you, but I really want to go after you, Corvo. I really just want to drop a big time thunder into you. But Magnetstone's a solid Pokemon for this lead. Really good, really good. Really good, and if I can set up Tailwind, I don't even think we outspeed Fluttermane after Tailwind, <laughs> which is awful. Fluttermane's just so good, but I think they might be setting up a Tailwind here as well. You never know. You never, never know. But the thing about uh, Magnetstone's ability is if it goes last, it does more damage, which is wild. Really cool, really cool ability, analytic. I do like it. I do like it in certain situations. But he's going to end up protecting. Ooh, that's a good turn for us. Ooh, the good turn for us. We get off the tailwind. We're not going after him. We'll go after him next turn. And we get off this big time thunder. Send it. Bang. Later, Corvo. Later, Corvo. Corvo Knight gone. Out for the count. And we get Tailwind set up. That's huge because Corvo Knight's actually really strong. Like, it's a pain to deal with. It's a pain to deal with. Arcanine's going to come out here next. Arcanine's going to trash slice into grass. We already know this. So I'm going to throw a Hurricane into its slot. That's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to Hurricane that slot and predict this because I'm feeling that good. I'm feeling that good. I'm, I say he trash slides into grass. Might even be water, but it's he's going to trash slice into something to dodge this water move. And he does not. I could have just I could have just ripped into that thing with a pump. Give me ducks. No ducks. Power gem's gonna fly here. That sucks. We do have Sash. Snarl might come out here, but Flash Cans can come out here beforehand. And should probably finish off this Fluttermane. Made a Fluttermane? Doing some big time damage. Close combat. Oh, that's a little scary. We eat that though. We eat that though. And I can't believe that thing didn't Terra. I cannot believe that thing didn't Terra. Very surprised at that. At this point, I'm just going to pump that thing and then just go into another one of these. Yeah, might as well. Let's see what Fluttermane wants to do. Ooh, East Speed. Ooh, that's tough. That's tough. That defense is down. We do have Tailwind for a couple more turns, and I get to bring out my Booster Energy. Iron Jugs, and Shadow Ball's going to take us out. That's a tough turn. That's a tough turn. Wow, I shouldn't have overthought. But, like, come on. What Arcanine is staying in there up against a Hydro Pump Pelipper, right? Kind of scary, but now we're sitting in a really, really solid spot here, right? Really solid spot. My Flutter Main's going to be fastest on the field. Definitely want to gleam it, right? Definitely want to gleam. Definitely want to gleam it. We'll probably Hurricane here as well. Get some Stab Hurricane. I think Hurricane and Gleam should be able to take out Arcanine. But who should their final Pokemon be? Oh, it's gotta be Moon. It's gotta be Moon. Or it's probably, uh, could be Storm Drain Gashadon. I totally forgot they had that. Yeah, I'm gonna Gleam, and I'm just gonna Hurricane. Seems like the simple play. Simple, smart play. We don't have Terra, or do we have Terra? Did we use Terra? I can't even remember. No, we didn't. We didn't use Terra. We still have it. And he's gonna swap into Warm Moon. Which is totally fine. We have Gleam coming out here. We have Gleam coming. This game's a wrap. This match is a wrap. GG, good game. A GG good game. GG good game. Gonna swap into Roaring Moon with Flutter Mains on the field? It makes no sense. Terrible play. See you later, War Moon. We dump on War Moon turn one. Your Intimidate's going to do nothing on these Pokemon. We have special or uh we're special attacking. And I think we have like one more turn left in Tailwind, which is just huge. Just huge. Oh no, our Tailwind's gone. Okay. Right, I wish we would have had one more turn. Uh, I should have protect on on jugs. Here. I should have protect on jugs. And now would be the time to terrestrialize you, just in case that flutter main outspeeds me. It can't kill me with shadow ball, and then we just protect you because I have to get rid of the. Uh, I have to get rid of the flutter main here. Okay. So it was Roar Moon. These are his last two Pokemon. I'm gonna terror you into just just straight electric. There's no moves that sh should be able to take me out. You need no ground moves, right? No one's rocking ground here. And a protect comes out from the jugs. And probably Shadow Ball might be coming into my Flutter main. Now we outspeed anyway. That's big time. End up doing some damage onto the Arky. Hopefully Arcanine is going after my Flutter main as well. Actually, I, I would have hoped he was going after my, what's it called? My Jugs. So I'd protect on it, but still, we have Electric Terror. That was perfect. The rain does stop, but I feel like from here, we just kind of just, we're choosing to Gleam. And do I try to land Hurricanes? Might as well, right? Let's try to land one. Let's try to land one. Gleam's going to pop here. 
chip up some more damage on the Arcanine. And can Jugs finish this one off? He does. My boy Iron Jugs landing that 70% Hurricane. No problem. And we end up grabbing ourselves a lovely winning record for today's video. And playing really well with this Iron Jugulus team. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. 2-1 winning record for today's video. Wish we would have won that first battle considering we played so good up against a hard tricking team. But hey, we'll take that loss on the chin, but still grab ourselves a 2-1 record. Iron Jugger, this was absolutely amazing today. Got to rock out with it, but then you got the Pelipper, Magnazone, Palafin, all rocking out as well with Fluttermane and Amoogus. Really solid team, really gels together, and can kind of counter any any type of team that you're going up against but guys that is gonna be for today's video if you did enjoy the content don't forget to smash that like button for me and if you're new here click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live seriously you guys rock out make sure you spread spots every day i'll catch you on the next one peace out everybody